I am old. Hey everyone, it's me, old man Sam. Hey, hey. So, long time ago in the Navy when I was uh, a parachute rigger and was sent to uh, Naval Air Station Wid B Island, Oak Harbor, Washington. Um, all of all of us uh, uh, parachute rigger students had like ninety, had one hundred hundred percent. We had ninety nine. We had ninety eight percent, ninety seven percent. I was like ninety five, ninety six. But still, slowest of the slow. In fact, I was accused of plagiarizing uh, the technical pubs just because I wrote the same uh, 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 one sentence or two sentence uh, answer, uh, the same as any other of the uh, PR students. Uh, I was accused of um, uh, plagiarism from. Uh, same notes from my um, fellow parachute rigger students when we all wrote the same one or two sentences or three sentence uh, uh, notations and stuff. Same as uh, the rest of the class. Uh, but that's white nation for you. That is the paradigm that you are in, uh, the caste system. Uh, if you're not an officer, then you're a, a peon, and uh, you are enlisted and uh, treated like uh, less than whale shit, and so on. So everyone else got their pick of uh, whatever duty stations they wanted to get, and three or four of us were left to uh, discuss the, the leftover duty stations. Well, one person wanted to stay close to his family on the East Coast. Uh, someone wanted to literally leave the Midwest area, to leave America, to leave uh, behind everything that he had ever known and uh, grown up with in the Midwest and uh, forsake his college uh, degrees and so on and he wanted to experience uh, life elsewhere he got he got sent to Diego Garcia or he got sent to uh, Guam or the Philippines somewhere this uh, white boy and uh, he wanted to marry a little brown um, <clears throat> he wanted to marry a little brown uh, truck a uh, duck duck machine and um, uh, you know stay in the Navy for 30 years or so and um, somebody else wanted a duty station like Mississippi area or the lower Gulf States area you know that's what they wanted and uh, somebody wanted one of the California duty stations. And the only thing that was left was uh, Naval Air Station WID, W-H-I-D-B-E-Y, WID B Island, uh, Oak Harbor, Washington State which is on the west coast. That's what I got. Didn't have to pick it. Didn't have to uh, fight to someone else for it. I lucked out. That that's, was the best duty station um, in my choice out of all the others that were left over for us to uh, get. Somebody got Hawaii. Somebody got uh, a couple of other cool places in uh, California. Uh, somebody got um, Japan or, you know, somewhere else overseas within an aircraft squadron. 
So, one of the personnel in uh, Victor Air Quebec uh, TAC, that little dash in Navy terms is TAC. So, if you're reading a whole bunch of letters that stand for all of the boxes of spare parts that you got uh, relating to what type of spare parts dash uh, nomenclature uh, spare parts uh, 101 TAC, you know, instead of dash, you say TAC. So, anyway, VAQ TAC 132. And this is a picture of a scorpion. And it says scorpions. So at that time frame of the 1990s, uh, it was late 19, it was the 80s and it was 70s and it was 60s when these types of aircraft, uh, the four seat uh, intruder uh, bombers uh, were in service off the flight the deck off the aircraft carriers so uh, one pilot in the front left seat and the other uh, three uh, electronics warfare uh, specialist uh, officers um, they operated all of the electronic equipment or in a two seat uh, intruder uh, uh, bomber the right hand side was the uh, navigator bomber so <laughs> but in a four seat uh, intruder type of uh, aircraft later on uh, became uh, electronic warfare uh, systems type of aircraft and instead of uh, carrying a payload of bombs on their wings they now carried these uh, football uh, elongated uh, cylinder uh, propane tank sized um, um, aerodynamic uh, devices on uh, on the wings and those were electronic uh, countermeasures uh, electronic warfare countermeasures and measures and uh, counter counter of a counter countermeasure device or something and each of these different squadrons and stuff had their own uh, names, so. But I didn't start uh, Whidbey Island in uh, VAQ-132. I started it in uh, VAQ-129, I believe, 129. Uh, Silver Foxes. And they were the uh, two-seat uh, fighter bombers. Well, actually, bombers. So, yep. VA-129 uh, or VA... I forget. But anyway, they were the Silver Foxes. And then after that uh, squadron and, and that group decommissioned, uh, they broke up, they retired... Uh, I stayed on, on Whidbey Island and was sent to the Scorpions, the uh, VAQ-132. Uh, VAQ-130 Screw. Uh, VAQ-130 uh, Crew. A, uh, VAQ Scorpions. This shirt is in immaculate condition. It uh, has been worn just uh, a few times and uh, laundered and then put away. This shirt was obtained by myself for about 12 bucks or 15 bucks back in 1993-94. And I sent it to my mom. There's another drawing on the back, but I've already showed this shirt on the internet anyway, but so. This shirt is uh, this coming year of uh, 2023 or 2024 this shirt is literally 30 years old 
It's old like me. Old man Sam. Oh, <laughs> Earlier I was looking at some of the lighting and if you look at my face, you'll see it kind of go gray or ashen. It looks like I have gray dirt on my face or something. It has to do with the lighting, it has to do with... Um, my skin tone, my skin texture, the wrinkles, the lines in the mirror, the lines in my face. I pretend not to notice I was caught up in the race. Oh, wait, wait, that, that, that's a, a, a song. And then the uh, patine or the shine of um, natural oils and stuff, the egg grease. Since I'm a native, it's a fry bread grease. And then you might wonder, why, why the hell some grown man has a little L-shaped uh, nose screw or uh, some type of a half, uh, half, half of a circle. <laughs> and something else in the tongue. And so, and why are most of my teeth missing? Well, that has to do with the bad cavities. Uh, when I was a child, of course, uh, I got those cavities plugged by uh, Indian Health Service and uh, uh, amalgam um, mercury um, uh, metal fillings, uh, poisonous type of fillings in my head. And for about 10 years, 20 years afterward, I... Uh, I would hear the radio sound or the frequencies in my head. But anyway. But why these? Well, I come from old culture. That has... Um, oh, oh, you guys. So how many eggs do we get? One, three, four. Right? Oh, I have three, three, three. She brought two in and then I found one. We put that dog glue in there. Where's my? Okay, when you go in there, you look in there. Yeah. And it, if you have to put them all in there, and we throw a rug or blanket over it, then tell me. They can stay in there at night, and then. Did you put it in that little tiny itty bitty room? Yeah. Yeah. For the hens. Yeah, perfect. Well, just look at it before you go in. We've got to tear down the roost, roosting frames and everything that the missionaries made. They don't do any good. With that, that little table, it looks fine. Um, yeah, but not the one in the back. That one's got to come down, and then we got to put the work cardboard up there because it's drafty from that corner. Cold as hell. So anyway, yes, yes.